Uh, we're going to cover these topics today. So we're going to look at uh, the setup of fixed assets, including uh, setting up dimensions for them and uh, the posting groups. Uh, we'll look at how we can acquire fixed assets. We'll find that there's two different methods for that. There's an automatic way and there's a manual way to do that. And we'll also uh, explore uh, the depreciating fixed assets method in Business Central, as well as how to dispose of fixed assets. And finally, we'll look at a few fixed asset reports that'll help us on our journey. Okay, so let's jump into the demonstration here. Uh, I'm gonna start with the fixed asset setup windows. Uh, I'm not gonna get into too much detail uh, as it can get pretty granular into what we can set up, but I'm just gonna get into the kind of a more general windows that we wanna go to so that we can start using the fixed asset module. Okay, let's go take a look. I'm gonna jump into my Business Central demo environment here. And I have the uh, fixed asset setup window bookmark so I can jump right into it for you guys. So as we can see, uh, on the, the first general setup window uh, page here, we have uh, just some pretty self-explanatory windows for us. Uh, but what we really want to look at here would be uh, our general setup so we can set up fixed asset classes. Uh, right now in this demo environment, it looks like we have three classes set up. But we can also go uh, more detailed if we want. We could set up subclasses. So we'll just take a look at what this page looks like here. So under the tangible fixed asset class, we also have equipment and furniture as a subclass. Okay, uh, and we also have the ability to um, set up locations. So if we want to set up where um, a certain uh, warehouse or location where our fixed asset resides, we can do that here. Uh, depreciation, I'm going to get into that when we look at depreciation a little bit later on. Uh, but the next and most important thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was uh, the fixed asset posting groups here. So this pretty much governs um, which GL accounts are hit whenever we run some sort of fixed asset process, such as an acquisition or uh, depreciation, okay? Uh, right now, since this is demo environment, it looks like everything is going to the same GL account. Uh, in a real world situation, I'm not too sure we wanna do that, but uh, this is where we would go to change all those um, um, posting groups and which accounts they go to. Okay, so next we're going to take a look at how to acquire a fixed asset. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there is two different methods. There's the automatic method and the manual method, and they're both kind of uh, related to each other. Um, the automatic method is we get a, a wizard um, and we enter in some skill testing questions, and uh, based on those answers of that, those questions, it populates the fixed asset GL journal for us. The manual way is we just go into the fixed asset GL journal and manually input our figures into any of the fields there and post that way. Uh, but today I'm going to focus on the automatic way. So let's get started. I'm going to go to the finance drop down here and choose fixed assets. And so we got a listing here of all the fixed assets currently in the system. Uh, we got some nice check uh, boxes here that shows if the asset is acquired or not. So I'm going to create a new asset. Let's call this one car three. And I'm gonna give it a, a class code of a, I'm guessing that it's a, ta it's a tangible asset and the subclass will be vehicles. Okay, on the general fast tab, I'm not gonna fill in any more information, but down on the depreciation book fast tab, uh, it looks like I have to enter in what my depreciation starting date is. So I'm just gonna choose uh, my working date right now, which is June 1st, 2021. Just going to navigate over there and let's say this is a, a three year depreciation okay and that's going to automatically populate our depreciation ending date now that we have all of our required fields entered we get this handy dandy little notification box here which uh, allows us to go ahead and bring up the uh, the wizard that i was talking about so if i click acquire here we do get our fixed asset acquisition wizard and I'm just going to enter in some information here. So let's say this is a $20,000 uh, car that we bought. And let's say we got this from a vendor and it was um, Worldwide Importers. They imported a car for us. Okay, I'm going to enter in my document number here. Then I can go to next. So what it's going to do is um, open up our fixed asset GL journal with the information that we've entered here in the wizard. So let's go ahead and see what this gives us. 
Okay, so we can see that we have two assets here. It looks like I do have um, one here already entered from uh, a previous demo. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that line. And what we can see here is that we have uh, our car entered here. It looks like it's going to um, our fixed asset account here and also our vendor account. So based on the posting group set on the fixed asset card and uh, the posting group set on the vendor, uh, we're going to get our GL entries. So usually what I like doing before I um, post is previewing the posting. So I'm just going to do that from here. So we can see here we get two GL entries. And it looks like we got a $20,000 increase to our equipment GL account and also our um, accounts payable looks like it has increased by $20,000. Okay, so everything there looks great. And we can see that that wizard really is um, makes the, the inputting of the information uh, for a fixed asset pretty easy and uh, self-explanatory. Okay, uh, let's next take a look at how to dispose of a fixed asset. So I'll quickly go through this one for you guys here. So we're gonna go back to our uh, fixed asset listing. And we're going to choose the uh, fixed asset GL journal. I'm just going to enter in uh, some of the information here on our fields. So this is going to be uh, the fixed asset account type. And let's assume that we're disposing of this car. Uh, what's important here is that I want to choose my fixed asset posting type as disposal. I believe this car has um, uh, a fifty-five thousand dollar book value at the moment. So let's assume that uh, our disposal here is uh, we're getting proceeds of fifty thousand dollars on it. Okay. So what's the next uh, step is going to be we want to use our function here called insert fixed asset balancing account. There we go. We can see that it inserted a new line for us, and I'm going to navigate here as well um, to our posting preview just to show you guys um, how this is automatically calculated the gain and loss on our fixed asset ledger entry. Okay. And there we go. So we can see that, yes, it did have um, $55,000 um, acquisition cost and there was $278 depreciated on it already. Uh, and therefore we get a gain and loss of 4,722. Okay, so let's next take a look at the uh, depreciation process here in uh, Business Central. I'm going to work with this blue truck here in the system. I'm just going to click on uh, the number here to pull up the card. So we can see here that it has a $68,000 book value. I'm just going to click on this to drill down to see our fixed asset ledger entries. So we can see that it was acquired on um, June 1st of 2021 and it was $68,000. Um, right now it does not have a depreciation starting or ending date so what I'm going to do is just enter in that information here so let's just assume that depreciation is going to start on today's date which is June 1st and it's going to be a three-year depreciation okay and therefore depreciation ending date is May 31st 2024 uh, one more thing I want to do here is actually navigate to the dimensions um, because I want to show you guys how these dimensions are going to show once we do depreciation. So I'm just going to put in a color here. And I think we heard that this one was blue. Uh, I don't have it set up at the moment. How about we just choose black for demonstration purposes. Okay, so we have a dimension color of black. So next what I want to do is go back into my actions here and I'm going to choose the calculate depreciation um, task. Okay, so this is going to pull up our, uh, our window here for our skill testing questions. Uh, let's say we want to depreciate this actually to the end of the month. So I'm just going to change those, those dates right here. And I'm just going to give it a depreciation test as our document number and the same thing for our description. Uh, I'm going to insert a balancing account that's going to be as per the posting group and I actually just want to do this just for that one blue truck. Okay. So 
now that I got everything entered, I can hit OK here. So what it's telling us now is that uh, depreciation has been calculated and that it's inserted a line into our fixed assets GL journal. So let's open that up and take a look. Okay, so we can see here that I do have uh, two lines entered in for our uh, depreciation. Looks like I calculated it as about $1,800 for the one month. And what I want to do next is uh, just navigate to the line dimensions here just to show you guys that that black dimension has carried through onto depreciation. Okay, so if we're happy with this entry, we can go ahead and post it. So lastly, I just want to talk about the reporting here available to us in the fixed asset module. So uh, as you guys are probably uh, assuming here, we are able to use uh, the filters here um, so we, that we can filter our fixed asset listing uh, as we'd wish. Uh, as well, uh, because it is business central, we can open this in Excel and we can even edit it in Excel. So say you need, needed to change some of the fixed asset codes, um, the class codes on some of your fixed assets here, you could just open this in Excel, edit it in Excel, and then publish that right back into business central. Okay, uh, and as well, there is um, a whole